What is up guys, hope you're all doing well out there. So in this video, I'm going to be laying down the current landscape when it comes to the scheduled unsealing process that's going on for the second batch of Epstein files. Now, let me lay down the story for you guys. So back in the end of July, I think it was July 30th or somewhere thereabouts, the first batch of Epstein files were released. Now, these were the files that had all the testimony, the defamation suit testimony from uh, Virginia Roberts. And we found out that we also got emails between Jeffrey Epstein and also Ghislaine Maxwell, which uh, proved that Ghislaine Maxwell was talking to Jeffrey Epstein up until 2015, which means she lied to the court when she said that uh, when her lawyers and her told the court that Ghislaine Maxwell was out of touch with Jeffrey Epstein since the since the late 1990s. This was their argument, basically that she was not associating with Jeffrey Epstein. So please don't call her or associate her. Don't call her guilty and don't associate her with Jeffrey Epstein. That that obviously proved to be false because she was talking to Epstein um, up until all the way until 2015. So that show that she committed perjury. Uh, but that's the batch of uh, first batch of Epstein documents. We also found out some uh, some stuff about some of the people like Jean-Luc Burnell and uh, Prince Andrew, who were at the Epstein resident. We found out an assortment of details on them and uh, who was, you know, some some documents uh, regarding the flight manifest and some details about who was who was on on his island, things like this. And I, I've made videos in detail about by individual. I made a video about Bill Clinton, uh, um, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, Prince Andrew, and many other people that were associated um, with that leak. So you guys can go check that out in my full Jeffrey Epstein slash Ghislaine Maxwell playlist, which I will link in the top right hand corner of this video. But anyways, let's get back to what this is all about. So this unsealing process of the second batch of documents was postponed because Judge Preska was about was about to release the second batch of Epstein files, aka Maxwell files. And these files contain Ghislaine Maxwell's testimony in the same 2015 defamation case that that the that we found out about in the in the first batch. So in the first batch, we got Virginia Roberts's testimony. And in the second batch, we were about to get Ghislaine Maxwell's testimony in that same 2015 defamation case. But Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyers ran to the Second Court of Appeals, right? Uh, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit, and they were able to get a postponement of that second batch of documents to be released. So they, they postponed it. And today is supposed to be the day that a hearing is taking place to determine whether these are going to be released. Now, several problems with this. Uh, first of all, I can just tell you, just want to give you guys the bad news up front. Nothing will be released today. Let me say that again. Nothing will be released today because the unsealing process is not really up to the Second Court of Appeals. They can only stop what Judge Preska does, right? So the the details, the the little, the small details of the unsealing process have been continuing on in the Southern District of New York with Judge Preska, and this is the this is something I covered um, back when it broke around August 27th. This is where Judge Preska released the rules and regulations for the release of these documents. I made a video about that. Once again, it's going to be in that playlist, which I linked in the top right hand corner. But basically, this document laid down the rules and regulations for the release of these documents, who is going to be redacted, well, uh, giving the non parties an opportunity to, uh, you know, comment on whether their names should be released or not, and a whole bunch of other things. She gave them like 14 days to uh, reach out to the court after receiving the uh, notifications. Now, I also made a video uh, showing that uh, Ghislaine, Maxwell's Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyers and Virginia Roberts's lawyers basically divided up the John Doe. So, this is a, a declaration by Sigrid McCauley, aka Sigrid the Viking, who I love. Um, also, she was the one who she handled John Doe's numbers uh, 92 to 185, I believe. Um, that was the, yeah, so 90 through, 92 through uh, 185 was handled by. Uh, Virginia Roberts' lawyers, and then John Doe's from, um, the rest of the John Doe's were handled by Menninger. This is her letter, Declaration of Laura Menninger. Laura Menninger is the lawyer for Virgi uh, uh, Gillian Maxwell, excuse me. And she handled the John Doe's from number one through number 
1992. So both of them sent out letters and they re they basically reported on, uh, you know, whether they were able to find the addresses and reach the John Doe. Some of them they were able to reach. Some of them were deceased. So that's what's going on. So that up to this point, this is all the evidence we have from the filed uh, filed suits, uh, filed, uh, excuse me, the filed court papers. So we don't know exactly what these John Doe's um, said, whether they replied to the court or not. This was back, uh, this was back in 9-11, actually, uh, coincidentally. And uh, the the uh, McCauley one was on also on 9-11. So, so the John Doe's have two weeks from the point at which they received these letters, 14 days, to reply back to the court. And after these John Doe's reply back to the court, according to the rules and regulations that were set forth by Judge Preska, um, the 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 original parties, meaning Gillian Maxwell and Virginia Roberts, they will also have a opportunity to oppose or you know uh, affirm the objections that were uh, that were sent to the court by the John Doe. So, like I always say. The, the courts always give all sides an opportunity to comment on what's going on. So the John Doe's have 14 days to send in their comments. And then within seven days, the original parties have a chance to object to it. So first, we have to receive all the uh, all the uh, all of the um, the objections from the John Doe's. If they don't send it within 14 days, then they're out. So we're going to have to wait 14 days. And then the and then the Ghislaine Maxwell side and the Virginia Roberts side has seven days to basically respond to that. So that this process of responding to these um, these documents regarding the uh, uh, the unsealing process, this has to finish before it the, before anything can be released. So this this uh, this hearing that's happening today is not going to be that consequential because the appeals court is not running the show. OK, Judge Preska is running the show and it's her rules that matter more. The appellate court is only involved because Gillian Maxwell didn't like what Judge Preska was going to do. So she ran to the appeals courts to get to stop Judge Preska's uh, unsealing process. So Gillian Maxwell, this is a the, the appeals courts thing is just a delay tactic. Um, by Ghislaine Maxwell. She has all the legal right to do it, but it's nevertheless a legal tactic to slow down the unsealing process. So that's what's going on basically, right? I just laid it down as simply as I could well, because I don't want to confuse people. This is a lot of complex st stuff going on. But basically, we're right now we're waiting for the John Doe's to respond to the court. And then Ghislaine Maxwell and Virginia Roberts will have a chance to examine the uh, uh, the op the comments that were sent in by the John Doe's. And then they will have a chance to respond to that. And then after both of these parties or all three of these parties have um, have sent in their objections or their affirmations, then Judge Preska will decide exactly how the redaction process is going to take place and exactly what, what documents are going to be released. So that's the gist of what's going on. So I wouldn't fret about this this hearing because it's not going to be that determinative of anything, really. But nevertheless, I'm going to make a video about uh, what exactly happened today. Um, the hearing is probably happening as I speak. But uh, it'll probably be over by the time you guys see this video. But nevertheless, I'm making this video on September 22nd and um, around 2 p.m. So the hearing is actually going on right now as I make this video. And But nevertheless, by tomorrow, we'll know exactly what, what they discussed there and I'll make a video about it. But I doubt anything will get released because, like I said, the process that's happening here, this redaction process and the unsealing process is being governed by the rules that are set by the Southern District of New York, specifically Judge Preska. So she is the one who has the final say. So that's that's the most important part. She's the one who's going to be determining this. So what's happening in, in this uh, particular appellate court is not that relevant. OK, so that's what's going on right now. Once again, I'll be making another video tomorrow with the details of what happened in this um, hearing today. So you guys can look forward to that. With that being said, I hope that was clear. If you guys have, any, have questions, let me know in the comment section below and uh, I'll address them in the next video. So with that being said, see you guys in my next video. As always, peace.
Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and consider some of the ideas I present in my videos. If you appreciate my evidence-based, non-partisan approach to reporting legal and political news, please consider supporting me on Patreon. My long-term goal on this channel is to get to a point where I can do news analysis full-time. Grassroots funding is the best way for independent news reporters to remain uncorrupted by corporate influences. Even if you can only afford $1 a month, those dollars add up in the aggregate, and it will be much appreciated by me. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace.